Alright, another thing we'll do while the fins are still drying away, get the cap all ready. Uh, as you can see, I took the Easter egg that was blue and I, I sanded it down really good on the outside to make it really rough. And then I spray painted it black a bunch. I actually put a little clear coat over that just for kicks. Um, and then I did something weird on the inside there. I actually took a, just a marker cap and um, poked a little hole in it with an X-Acto knife and then threaded one of these eyelets in there. You could, you could just poke a hole through either side and use that to tie off, but I had the eyelet. Get those at the dollar store in a big pack. And then you put a little bit of the glue on the edge of the cap, jam it in there, and then you got a nice little hook, and it, it stays in there nice and secure. Uh, from those face masks, I took two of the little bungees, and uh, we're going to use that as our shock cord. So, um, and what you're going to do is take the three uh, loops of your parachute. I uh, probably can't see this off screen, and we'll pinch the top of our parachute and pull the ends over here. Um, get the loops, and we'll put that through our eyelet. This is the standard way that the Estes rockets are put together, so if you've done those, same thing. Open up the little holes there, and we'll pull the parachute on through. And then you're good to go. Parachute's on there, cinched away, and good. And you can just pull it fairly tight. What I like to do, too, is take a little bit of super glue, and, uh, squirt it on a knot there just to kind of keep it from undoing itself a little bit and getting all tangled it'll stay on there without it um, and then we'll take the shock cord and pop that through the eyelet too and this one we'll just tie off regular and uh, by the time we've done all these little projects on the side your your fins you could be doing you know a fillet or two here and there gluing stuff on and they should be done by the time you finished all this other stuff and uh, you can start gluing the shock cord here that I'm tying onto the cap we'll end up gluing that the other end of it um, to some paper and then we'll glue that inside the rocket which I'll show in the next little portion so that's all there is to getting the cap ready it's got the chute tied onto it and the shock cord hanging off the other end so here is the long awaited rocket fins dried and all. And I ended up adding some goofy letters there, called it stub. Um, so when I, while I was doing the fins, I also took a piece of straw and I sanded one side so it was nice and cloudy and rough and then put some of the hobby cement there and put that in with the fillet. I put a long section on there so that I don't have to put another one up here to help guide it. The long one will be fine. Also put some of the electrical tape around the top to help the lid catch on nice and easy. And squirted it down with some uh, clear coat just for kicks and to help hold the stickers on. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is uh, connect everything. Uh, what you need to do is cut up, cut out a couple of these, um, almost like a triangle, long triangle with the top cut off shape. It's the classic Estes way of um, hooking these things into the tube. And what you end up doing is taking one end of uh, one of the bungees and you put some glue here and you uh, snap it down in the glue and then you fold over one tab hold it there then you put some glue on that side and fold over this tab and you'll end up with these things sandwiched in there and holds them all real well and what we'll do is we'll glue this one we'll get glue on the backing and we'll put it in there probably just about since the cap goes around the outside we'll just put it right about on the inside lip and then what we need to do with this one we're going to want to put it down far enough inside the tube that this can still clear the tube just barely but so that it, when it goes down in there it'll fit all the way down in there so that's going to be hard you're going to need like a dowel or a stick or someone with really small hands <laughs> to kind of push it up against but it, it still works out fine I'll go ahead and do that and show you the finished product so now we're ready to get this thing ready to launch I, I let this uh, the little things dry on the inside this one's towards the top the other one's about four or five inches down in there so we'll go ahead and throw some of the recovery wadding uh, inside the tube I'm just using toilet paper and then uh, put the little ejection shroud kind of in there and take our parachute fold it in half and fold it in half again and then you kind of overlap it make the triangle here fold it down it's kind of the classic little way the Estes rocket company shows you 
and roll it in. When you're rolling a parachute, you do want to kind of be careful to make sure you don't roll it too tight. If you roll it too tight, there's a chance it won't open up. So you kind of roll it as loose as you can get away with, and then wrap your little string around it. Um, and we're actually going to throw the bungee from the top of the cone in the top of into the ejection shroud deal too. So in effect, what's going to go on here with this ejection shroud is um, when the ejection charge goes off, it's going to pop off the top, send it shooting out. Uh, or this ejection shroud is going to come out too, um, and the ejection shroud is going to want to stop when the bungee doesn't let it go any farther, but the cone's going to keep going and pull the chute out. So that's how the little system works, really protects your chute. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this capped off. I think I got a motor in there. That's the way the little stub looks, ready to go. And I'll pop it on a stand and we'll launch it, see how she works. So here's the stub. We're going to go ahead and Launch her up, I'll back up so you can see the whole thing here. And here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh crap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> it was okay. I can't see. Just had a little delay. <laughs> nice. I thought I was gonna go straight for the houses there. <laughs> well, I checked out the rocket here and it came down all right. Everything looks good that way, but it uh, looks like the ejection charge is a little bit much for this short rocket. And uh, I think this bungee stuff that I use from the face masks is a little too flimsy. It, it kind of melted through it a little bit here on the chute end, almost lost the chute. And then the ejection pod came off because it kind of melted it. Uh, so I'll need to use regular all rubber band or some find some of the other bungee material I use on different rockets. On the cap, I think I could have glued it a little better. It kind of shot that off. So maybe extra glue when you're reinforcing that on a short rocket. And uh, other than that, the chute looks great. The ejection um, pod did its job. And there's not a mark on the chute. Um, so, yeah. All things considered, did really well. Uh, when you're making yours, skip the uh, face mask material. And glue that sucker on really good and you'll be set. So happy rocket making and thanks for watching.